in the last video we have designed our twitter home layout from this video we are going to focus on the functionalities part the database part and the authentication so first thing first we will understand what the data we need so we will design our database i have already designed a diagram and i will make you understand how it works and what we are doing then we will use chat gpt to help us write sql because i am not good at writing sql and that's how i will teach you how to utilize how to leverage chat gpt to grab sql and then we will go into superbase dashboard and we will run some sql queries to make our tables and then we will proceed further so let's begin so as you can see here i am in the folder and the app is running this is the database diagram i have designed so first let's see how our app is looking so you can see this is our twitter clone and it is looking absolutely dope it is exactly similar to twitter and it is awesome now this is our twitter database diagram i am using this db diagram website and you can use it too so as you can see we are defining table user has all the things related like username email all the things so user can have multiple tweets this means user to tweet is a relationship of one to many relationship but a tweet can be only authored by one user that's why author id is a string which is this and this is how we define reference or we can say the relationship in this db diagram website so don't worry about this thing i will share this thing with you you can just see that a user can have multiple tweets as you can see this is multiple this is one so one to many between user to tweet a tweet can have multiple hashtags a tweet can have multiple hashtags and a hashtag can also have multiple tweets so this is many to many relationship between tweet and hashtag now a tweet can be liked by multiple authors so we can say a tweet can have multiple likes and it also connected to user a like has user id and tweet id so this is how we are saying that a tweet can have multiple likes and a tweet can also have multiple bookmarks and a user can also have multiple bookmarks so this is how it is working so this is our bookmark table and bookmark table also have id user id twitter tweet id created it if you are having hard time understanding this don't worry when we start coding this part you will understand it better and that's how it works and now this is our reply a reply is just a like of tweet so when a user reply to a tweet we will save some text with the tweet id because why we are saving the tweet id in the reply row because we want to know where this reply is related this reply is related to which tweet that's why we need a tweet id so we can fetch all replies of a tweet by saying that give me database give me all the replies of this tweet id then we will have all the replies of a tweet but if a user is replying to a reply that's why we are saving a reply id also so here when we will define this it can be null so you can visit the db diagram you can see db diagram syntax and you can find out how i have written this whole thing reply id and tweet id both are optional both are optional so here this is a dbml language basically so this is the whole syntax of dbml language you can see how we are defining many to one relationship between these and how we are doing all this stuff you can also share the node or the save the node like this if you write this and if you look at the reply you will find that stored user this is the note we don't need we just need to understand what we are storing in the database so first thing first this is a text we are storing the username when this tweet is created who is posted this tweet and the likes and bookmarks and all the things and here you can see not null if this is the username is like this if the username is we want to be not null then we can justify it like that not null and unique so we can copy this thing and we can say in the users table here we can say it is not null and unique we can also define the default like 10 now and all the things you can read this which is on the dbdiagram.io slash docs slash dbml and you can click this link to see all the syntax to write this database design okay so now we have understood what is our data now we will use chat gpt to build a query for us because i don't want to manually create all the data inside our database so what i am saying is if we go to superbase if i sign in now i can see this is ultimate twitter clone and here i have this is a sql editor and here this is how you define tables we can also go to this database and we can insert table like this but we have to do this all this stuff manually and i don't want we want our productivity to be highest so for that we have to 
leverage the chat gpt you can see all the things are given here also, this is for storage this is for edge functions superbase is awesome i think and we will use this now so let's visit chat gpt and build the query so i will now open my another chrome so now i will open my another chrome tab here so this is chat gpt and i will tell it that give me the query and i have already designed the db so you can follow me just so i'm using gpt 3.5 the default so here is my database i will copy this and i will tell it give me post to create all tables and the dbml for those and use this dbml for the context like this and we will give it and now we'll, it will you can see <laughs> this is this has given us all the tables <laughs> like this this is how much easier to use chat gpt for us to write sql now you can see id u uid username email this is good and i think it is nice all the primary keys for an yeah it's good also i have renamed the like table with quotes like okay so what we can do we can use likes instead of this and if you visit this the database uh, sql editor create table you can see this is how it works id begin generated by default as identity primary key Saturday it time stamp with time zone default utc not null we will copy something from it and we will modify according to us. so let's copy all this and we will modify according to our need so user for the user i think in the here i think we have something use management starter profiles yeah this is what i want so this will reference to author users table and it will delete a user from our database when this is deleted from superbase auth table this is for the row level policies this is handle new user when a new user sign up for a new account for on our website then this function will be automatically triggered and this will save a username into our table this is setting up all the yeah so we just need this thing this one this one and this one these three things we need for now let's copy in the sql editor here so instead of this user i will say user id uuid primary key yeah so we need username text unique we can use text inside postgres where care 255 is required for sql so here yeah the id we need id updated it, username full name full name okay full name is stored in authored users table also i think if we use google sign in then it is not required also this is not required constraint username length this is good we just need one thing here username and it, it should be unique and that's all we need for our profiles we can say our users now this is a function which will create a trigger and it will automatically insert a username no we don't need avatar so it will values new.id new.ray row user metadata is username so it will insert id and username into our table like this insert into this table values are this and return new it will be automatically triggered and we will pass the metadata from our front end when the user signs up for a new account cool this is profile now yeah the uuid cool updated it timestamp with time zone and we can utilize this here yeah so it will be default to now now we can remove this because we have utilized this whole thing these are row level security policies we will see all the securities at the last first we will design or we will build our whole application or whole web application then we will see if anything wrong with the security part and we will improve our security for our web application okay so trigger on auth user created it will be triggered each row execute processor public dot yeah now we have a tweet uuid it is a primary key so for that yeah it is also primary key reference so i think it's good tweet is id where care instead of where care i think we can directly use string or not string text author id is text created a timestamp now we need to do one thing over here this thing default not null this whole thing copy this for the timestamp part part we will do this yeah this is hashtag okay tweet id uuid okay this is also good you can use capitalize or small case both will work that's not a problem here primary key is good foreign key yeah so this is for reference tweet hashtag so this is another table which means a tweet can have multiple hashtag and a hashtag can have multiple tweets so it will store tweet id and hashtag id and the primary key is both tweet id and hashtag id and it will reference to the table in tweet and hashtag the id id field the reference is id field yeah and the 
reply is also like that user id this is good create table like so now we can do one thing instead of saying like we can do likes we can say replies instead of tweets instead of tweet we can say tweets this is better uh, not here we can where is tweet tweet hashtag is good tweets hashtags this is better programming practice to name your table like that tweets instead of tweet this is hashtags table this is tweet hashtags yeah this is fine now replies this is good here is tweets so be careful by doing all these things tweet id user id reply id this is fine now we have likes so likes is good we don't need to use the double quotes but it will be fine if you used or not used here user id good 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 no so instead of users we are saying profiles so here you can see so instead of user everywhere instead of user we will say profiles id profiles here also profiles instead of tweets so we will we will have to instead of bookmark we will say bookmarks the bookmark should be unique that's why we are saying that constraint bookmark is unique unique user id and tweet id it is good like should be also unique a user why this is unique because a user can like a post one time and a user can bookmark a post one time that's why we will save only one record in our database that a user is liked or bookmarked a post we will not allow a user to like or bookmark multiple times or in the other words to save multiple rows inside our db for one thing so user id this is good okay so let's check again one time so we have profiles this is looking good we have this trigger function which will save a username into our database every time a new user is created this is our tweets table this is our hashtags tables this is a table which will define a relationship between tweets and hashtags table so this is tweets and this is hashtags like this cool now we have replies profiles tweets replies cool now we have likes this is also we are uh, instead of tweets we have tweets okay so this is good that's all the table we need and now we can run this query and over all functions our tables will be created so click on run and it will be failed to run okay so let's see what is the problem here so it is saying that foreign key constant replies user id foreign key cannot be implemented so in the replies so where it is here so id is primary key text is text okay so here we will say that it can be null okay so for that it is null or not null so if it can't be null then we have to define or we have to say not null otherwise we can just skip null part yeah so now here we can say not null like this this is also not null a tweet must contain text here also this should be not null okay tweet hashtag tweet id hashtag this is good not null not null good here also we will say not null here user id can't be null but tweet id or reply id both can be null so we will ask here chat gpt that okay so let's first run again it and then we will see what is happening so this is yeah this is also not null this is also not null here is time stamps we will use this whole thing here again yeah let's run it again and we will see what is happening so we will ask this error to chat gpt so that it will fix us for us now it is updated over so i will give it my new this whole query i am saying that find any problem with this okay so it will say your modify query looks mostly correct but there is a couple of issue that i spotted in the reply table the foreign key constant tweet id reference to tweet table instead of tweet tables id column oh that's the problem so you can see how we can utilize this to increase our productivity okay so what's the problem in the bookmark table okay you should change this to foreign key tweet id so it is a foreign key okay so we are saying which is a foreign key let's copy this thing if we can see the difference between the thing chat gpt given us okay so this is uuid cool user ID, tweet id now let's remove this and we will run it again it replies user id foreign key cannot be implemented so i think it is mostly because of this line because yeah applies uuid okay user id not null okay now how about it likes okay okay now it is working so what we have did is likes user id foreign key so this is likes these both are uuid we are saying that these are text that's why it is showing us the problem author id cool a tweet a profile or we can say 
a tweet can have multiple users a tweet okay, no a tweet can't have multiple users a user can have or we can say a profile can have multiple tweets fix the db according to this and also fix any error now it will create a foreign key like that author id and profile id that's we need previously we don't have any foreign key or relation between date and user now we have a foreign key author id and profile id yeah but we don't need author and profile two things we can it can be just only one so profile id remove this author thing here now it's good now we will run this and we will see if it is working or not let's try invalid sql okay so we have did some mistake here what can be the mistake okay success now it is successfully run and we will see if it works as we want so first of all we will go to home in the tables now we have seven tables bookmarks let's see that bookmark have id user id tweet id created it that's what we want first of all we will see profiles profile says id updated username full name okay good replies this is good reply id tweet id user id everything looking good and now we should also have a trigger if we if you click on a trigger these are our tables and if you click on a trigger here you can see when the user is created we have a handle new user trigger which will insert a username to our profiles tables this one we can do all these things web hooks functions and we will utilize this according to our need you just saw how we have used chat gpt create sql query for us and to fix the error and all these things okay and if you want this code let me just create a note here this one i will copy this whole thing and i will create a github gist so this is db design dot sql for ultimate twitter clone just like it i will create a public gist and that's all and i will share it with you i will put this into my readme file database i will save this for now i haven't committed or pushed to github let's let me push that so okay so you can follow along and you can find all the code let me also create a github repository now the code is live on my profile you can visit sony pranjal on github and you will find the repository here it is public repository and you can find it you can follow along and here is the code which we have used for our super base so now we have also accomplished our database part now what we will do i will put this whole section into another component which is the right section so i in the components new file right section rafce i will press the whole thing here and this save this and i will import this here good to go now if you visit localhost 3000 you can see this is our twitter clone in the next part we will focus on the authentication then we will move into the functionalities part we will build all the functionalities one by one i hope you like this video please subscribe this channel and share your thoughts what do you think and how can i improve these tutorials